Hi everyone, I'm Max Margonaut, and I'm here to talk about logistic regression. Logistic regression is a classic statistical model for classification. Basically, we take a multiple linear regression where we have our dependent variable is a function of many independent variables, each with their own unique coefficients and an intercept term, and we stuff that inside a logistic function. The logistic function squashes the output of the linear model so that it remains between 0 and 1. Effectively, the output of a logistic regression is a probability value of whether our inputs belong to class 0 or class 1, or whatever arbitrary pair of classes that you decide to feed into the model. One of the main points of convenience with a logistic regression is interpretability. The coefficients that we get out of a logistic regression directly quantify the influence of each individual independent variable on the output, as with a multiple linear regression. In the case of a logistic regression, the parameter that you get out, you can exponentiate in order to get the odds ratio for that particular independent variable. So basically, if you hold everything else the same, the odds ratio tells you how much an increase in the output probability you get with an increase in that independent variable. In order to pick which model you want to use, you can use a variety of traditional techniques in order to select parameters for the model. This includes information criteria like AIC and BIC, which penalize additional parameters that don't add additional information. You can also use just plain accuracy percentage to see how many of the classes that the model predicts actually line up with the classes in the observation. There's another method for classifiers that you can use called the area under the receiver operator characteristic curve, or the AU ROC. The ROC curve is a plot where you plot the false positive rate on the x-axis versus the true positive rate of the model on the y-axis. You eventually end up getting this curve, and you can take the area under it to determine how good your model is at differentiating things. Generally, a value of around 0.8 is the area under that curve is a good benchmark. If you're looking for a model that can classify more than two classes, you can extend a logistic regression to a multinomial regression, where you predict any of a number of different classes. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but if you're looking for a basic classifier, a logistic regression is a good place to start. 